Octavius the Octopus? I do not think alien tomato is a thing. I, I don't think so either. But just in case, ah, alien tomato. <sighs> alien tomato. It can't be that bad, right? Do you suppose I'm an alien? Oh, here, don't answer that. I want to find out at the end. Oh, 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 oh. Dill, one of a kind. Maybe he is an alien, actually. But let's find out. Alien tomato. See, I'm not worried because look at this guy. How friendly does he look, right? I mean, an alien wouldn't be all cute and smiley like that. Or would he? Whoa, whoa. I don't know what just happened there. Okay, let's go in. Ooh, nice and tomato y. Oh, that's, well, that is a handsome looking tomato, I have to say. Let's see. Everything looks really, well, space tastic, honestly. It's streaked through the sky on a perfect day in July and landed in the garden. <gasps> oh, 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 hey, asparagus, 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 asparagus. They're all named Gus. What is it? The veggies were curious about the newcomer. I don't know. I've never seen anything like it. Oh, uh, ooh, hmm. They shared their ideas. I think it looks like a tomato. Yeah, but different. Maybe it's an alien tomato. <gasps> I know what it is. What do, what do you know, little mole guy? What do you know that we don't know, huh? Ooh, yeah, an alien tomato. That's it. Of course, it's an alien tomato. Everyone agreed. It was definitely an alien tomato. That's right. It is definitely not an alien tomato. I mean, why Why did you get to be the decider of the, of the decisions? I, I mean, it could be an alien tomato or not. I'm very suspicious. But the veggies didn't know anything about alien tomatoes. Is it dangerous? Will it zap us with lasers? Don't make it angry. Gus looks super worried. Don't be silly. It's harmless. They decided a, a friendly approach was best. Oh, oh um, ha, how do you do? Pleased to meet you. My name's Reggie. Hello, I'm Beverly. It can't hear you. It can't? I mean, you all have ears and can hear. Look, Reggie's a talking carrot, and Gus is obviously very chatty, but it looks like alien tomato is uh, not. The alien tomato did not respond. It probably doesn't speak our language. That's okay. Let's call her Allie. Ooh. It can't talk because it's just a red ball. Hmm. The worm does not look pleased at all with this guy. And Gus, well, Gus is just, is, yeah, yeah, they're all Gus. Gus is just really taken and the peas in the pot are just ooing and aahing. This is probably the most exciting time they've had in the vegetable patch in eons. 
they decided to throw Ali a welcome party. Oh, that is so nice. Look at that. Gus is helping the peas in the pod decorate with flowers. And, and, and oh, and the carrot is in charge. Reggie, Reggie the carrot, is in charge of refreshments. And this one too. And these guys are strewing flowers. And, and uh, nobody ever held a party for me. Oh. Well, suddenly got awkward. And they treated her like an honored guest. A crown? Really? This is getting ridiculous. Oh, but it looks so, looks so good. And I kind of wish I had one now. The veggies enjoyed spending time with Allie. They were all on their best behavior. Care for a spot of tea? These crumpets are divine. Only the best for our Allie. Oh, look at the little crown and everything. Enough is enough. Oh, gosh, that guy is cranky, right? Oh, oh, oh. No, they're having a good time up there anyway. But then, strange things started happening while the veggies slept. <laughs> strange things. Allie turned up in the far corner of the garden and her crown disappeared. What, what, what's wrong, Allie? Do you need more shade? More water. And this guy looking all like, <laughs> the strange thing happening. He's moving her around. Do you see that? He is moving her around while everyone's asleep. Tricky, tricky. He just can't stand that Allie is getting all the attention. And then the next morning, <gasps> Allie was gone. Bah, bah, bah. <gasps> Has anyone seen Allie? She's not with the corn or the beans. Oh, where, oh, where could she be? <gasps> Do you see what he's wearing on his head? The crown. You know what happened, don't you? I mean, I think I know what happened. Let's keep reading and find out. Meanwhile, the peas in the pot are looking, and the corn looks unhappy, and the turnip things, and the carrots are, well, they're just asleep right now. And these guys, they look pretty unhappy too, and then the ants are all like, bloop, 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 bloop. The snails are even out, and they're like, <laughs> that's snail language. Everyone agreed. Allie must have decided to go back to her own planet. She wasn't acting like herself. She was probably homesick. You're right. Well, I guess we'll never know. <gasps> Do you see what I see down in his little hole in the ground? Mm-hmm. We see you, little underground mole thing. We see what you're up to. They all missed her. Allie was a great friend. I wish we could have thrown her a going away party. I hope she comes back to visit. Ew. Meanwhile, underground, bounce, 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 twirl, twirl, twirl. Soon, ho oh, hum, life in the garden went back to normal until <laughs> Allie <laughs> go. <laughs> until something streaked through the sky on a starry night in August. Oh my goodness. Do you see what's happening right here? <gasps> this guy ended up getting Alien napped! That's right! He's been alien napped! Okay, what is it? Is it a mole? Oh, it's a gopher. Storyteller is not the best at identifying underground rodents. And now you know the truth. But it was a gopher all along. And now he's been gopher napped. And now he's off in space. It's a ball. It's a tomato. They were right. It was an alien tomato. Well, guys, guys, storyteller, storyteller, that is not the only alien around here that's a vegetable. Oh, don't, 
Talk the dinosaur. Don't talk about Dill that way. I wasn't talking about Dill. No, nope, not me. <laughs> Although he might not be wrong. Uh, so what other alien vegetables do we have, Doug the Dinosaur? Look! Oh! What are those things? Well, I'm pretty sure that mine is some sort of a alien carrot! Is that a face on the carrot? Yep! That's how you know it's an alien! I learned that in alien school! Where did you go to alien school? All that time that things beam me up! <laughs> I have to tell your mama sometime! <laughs> That might explain some of his unusual behaviors. Oh, also, also, look at my... Oh, what, okay, what is, oh, what is this? I don't know, but it doesn't look right. I, I would have to agree. You know what? What? I'm going to return this. What? Yep, yep, I'm going to return this to where it belongs. Hey, yeah, yes, yes, I've got your guy. Okay, okay, I'll be right up. All right, kid, I'm going to go. I, you, 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 you. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they run my website, kidtimestorytime.com. Oh, that's your web guy. Yeah, yeah, and my web girl. They're up there. So uh, I'm just going to return this guy. And you know what? Just for good measure, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this guy too in case he belongs up there. So uh, beat me up. See you next time, kid, on Kid Time Story Time, where we are always out of this world.